Hi, I'm Tim Fletcher, the founder of Finding Freedom and the REACT Treatment Centers. And one of the questions I get asked all the time is, why bother with REACT? Why bother with Finding Freedom? There's so many different things out there for people with addiction problems trying to get sober. Why do we need another one added? And I want to try to answer that. So let me just give you kind of an overview of the addiction treatment world. So there are treatment centers that are, some are based on 12-step models. Some are based on different um, research type of things. Some are faith-based. So there's a variety of different styles of treatment centers. And then there's ongoing support groups or support activities. So there's 12-step program. There's faith-based programs. There's Buddha-type programs that are available for people who want extra support in their recovery. And then in the medical psychological world, there's CBT, cognitive behavior therapy, DBT, dialectical behavior therapy. Other places use peer influence, peer pressure to try to create behavior modification. Some still just go with the counseling route as a way to try to get clean and sober and stay that way. So there's quite a wide variety of different things out there. And then for trauma treatments, there's a wide variety of different things that have proven to be very helpful for people. EMDR, eye movement desensitization, where you're moving your eyes in order to help your brain process trauma. TRE, tension relief, tightening your muscles and releasing them. EFT, emotion stuff, tapping, brain spotting, looking at certain places that engage different parts of your brain. DBT we talked about, but it's mainly mindfulness and grounding techniques to help with emotional regulation. Cognitive behavior, realizing the lies and distortions that people believe that come out of trauma and, and learning to get your thinking more accurate, better. And then there's tons of teaching on setting boundaries, being assertive, codependency, anger management, all available for people. So what I observed in my own experience and working in this field is that all of those different treatments, they had value. They served a purpose. They helped people. But I always felt for so many people something was missing. Just doing EMDR, just doing TRE, just it didn't seem to be enough to help them. It helped them in certain areas, but it still lacked in other areas. Just teaching people about boundaries and anger management helped in some situations, but why wasn't it helping in others? What was missing? What would bring all of these together? And that's really where our my understanding and exposure to the field of complex trauma became to me the missing piece of the puzzle that united and made sense out of all of these other things. And so complex trauma is where a child grows up in an environment where they don't feel safe. So it's not like they just go through one traumatic event. It's every day is a bit scary for them due to an angry dad, a bully at school, parents who are never there. So abuse, abandonment, neglect all contribute to a child not feeling safe. And what happens when you live in that environment is you learn that to survive, you have to stop trusting people. You have to learn how to manipulate, how to control, how to wear masks. And so the very tools you need to survive become the bad tools 
for a healthy life. You can't have a healthy relationship if you manipulate, if you don't trust, if you're a control freak, if you're not authentic. And so complex trauma now began to give focus and understanding that made sense out of all of these other areas and provided a missing piece in people's recoveries. So the next thing that I saw is that a lot of the treatment options dealt with what happens when a trauma person is triggered. And so when they're triggered, they dysregulate. They go from zero to 100 in a nanosecond. And so a lot of those treatments were designed to help them learn to regulate their emotions. And so they were great in their beginning of their healing journey. It gave them the initial tools to learn to deal with their trauma being triggered so that they didn't go down the same old paths they, that they had for years. But what I saw was you need more than just being able to regulate yourself emotionally. You also needed people to understand their deepest wounds that didn't get triggered until they were in intimate relationships. And they needed to learn how their old tools were unhealthy and then healthy tools. And that was a lengthy journey. But they knew how to be unhealthy, even though most of it happened at a subconscious level. So they needed to understand what happened subconsciously so they could stop it. But then they had to learn a whole new set of new tools, healthy tools, if they ever were going to get healthy themselves and not need drugs and alcohol to, to cope. And so the... The path in dealing with trauma, the path in dealing with addiction is understanding it, but then understanding healthy. And the healthier you get, the less you're going to want or need drugs and alcohol, and the less you're, you will get triggered. And so REACT was set up as an option that would deal with what I saw as the missing piece, and that is the complex trauma. REACT stands for Recovery Education for Addiction and Complex Trauma. It is made up of three phases. It is made up of phase one where you, for four weeks, just understand addiction and trauma, how it af trauma affected you, what recovery looks like, just very academic overview, giving you the information. And then the tools to begin to look at that information. And so some people at the end of phase one say, that's enough for me. I'm not ready to deal with all of that trauma. But some enter into phase two, eight weeks of digging in to understanding the trauma, understanding the old patterns, understanding healthy tools for changing, understanding what healthy looks like and healthy tools for living. So each week we take an element of trauma, the big issues of trauma, shame, and we look at how it affected them. Shutting down of emotions, we learn what healthy emotions are. And so we just go through these very deep consequences of trauma that took place in a person's life, usually at a subconscious level. And then we help them begin to understand building a healthy family is safe where they can use new tools. The old tools were necessary to survive in a dangerous family. Now they need to have a surrogate family of safe people where they can become authentic and learn to trust and not have to manipulate but express their needs. And then they need to be able to have counseling and a group environment where they share openly, one-on-one -on -one where they dig into their things. And then they need to be able to start building a new life, healthy hobbies, therapeutic activities, taking care of their physical, emotional, spiritual, intellectual needs. Because the solution to trauma is biopsychosocial spiritual. Trauma affects every part 
of a human's being. Their physical body, it changes. Their brain, it changes. Their emotions, it changes. Spiritually, it changes. So you need a holistic approach if a person is going to get healthy. So REACT was designed to try and provide this missing piece of helping people understand the trauma. I've dealt with many people who have gone to anger seminars, boundary seminars, and, and they got some help, but it didn't help them deal with the deep anger they had or the deep feelings of shame, etc. It didn't help them stick to boundaries when they needed to stick to boundaries. And what I began to realize, it's because they've never understood the complex trauma. When they understand the complex trauma, then they see their anger in a new way and they get new tools. When they understand boundaries from the perspective of complex trauma, then they understand why it's hard to set and enforce boundaries. And it gives them new tools. REACT, we have seen amazing results as we've worked with people and their trauma. So I hope that helps you understand what makes us different and that you will explore getting to know us a little bit better. Thank you.